Hello and welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs. Actually, no, one phrasal verb. But it has seven different meanings. What? Let me show you. Just back up the car. Why? I need to back up and think about this again. Why? Are you backing out of being my backup? Just go. I can't. The traffic's all backed up. There's no way out. Yes, really. Every single one of those backups is a different meaning. <sighs> what? English? Why? <laughs> okay. Let me see if we can break this down and make it a little bit simpler. So, seven different meanings, one phrasal verb. First one, to move backwards. That's the easy one, right? We get that, to move a car backwards, to move a person backwards, to move something backwards. For example, you'll have to back up all the way we can't turn around, meaning you'll have to back your car up. I'm backing up now, is everyone out of the way? Again, we're moving our car backwards. Very similar to this, to move a little backwards. So the main difference with this one is there will be something in the sentence suggesting, so a little or a bit or some, something to give us the idea that we don't mean totally go back, just a little bit back. For example, just back up a little bit more or can you back up a bit for me? I'm feeling claustrophobic. So back up a little, back up a bit. Um, we know it's not very much. So both of those were moving, physically moving backwards, but one is a lot and one is a little. Okay, the next two also very similar. The first to undo actions. So something that you've done. And the second to reconsider your thoughts. So something you've thought about. Very, very similar, not exactly the same. Okay, some examples. Mm, we worked so hard on it, but we're not getting anywhere. Why don't we back up a bit and try a different tack? Okay. Oh, I should say there's a few bits of vocabulary in here that are unusual, like to try a different tack. I will cover those in the blog. You are not being left alone. If you, if you don't know them, if you've never heard them before, just head over to the blog at www.mseslenglish.com and you will find them written down there. The second example, I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's back up and go a different way. I was watching Stranger Things this week. I think that's where this came from. <laughs> Okay, so we're physically undoing our actions. We've gone somewhere and now we're going a different way or we're, we're getting out of that situation. Um, it could be some physical action that we've taken or it could be some work thing that we've done we want to undo or try a different way of doing it. So it's not exactly the same as like, backing up a car and reconsidering your thoughts i know i said i trusted you but i need to back up and think about this so i've said one thing and at the time i thought that too but now i need to revisit what i was thinking about or back up back up why are we doing this again so that's that's very american <laughs> so it just means like Hang on, stop, wait, what, why are we doing this? So we're reconsidering why we're doing it. And the next one. So the next uh, two, the last two are not related in any way. Why do I only have six? That's interesting. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> I seem to only have six and I said I would have seven. 
This is confusing me. If there's a stray one that I've forgotten, I'll put it on the blog, but I don't think there is. I think I just miscounted. <laughs> okay. And provide support or promise of support. So to have backup, somebody is going to back you up. For example, what? Is he your backup? Or if this will go south, I'll be your backup. So somebody is going to protect you or take care of you or do something in your place. Um, they are your backup. We need a call for backup. That's what the police do all the time, right? And then the last one that I have today, <laughs> to stop the flow or movement of something. Uh, so something has been going and now we're stopping it from going. So the traffic's backed up right across the bridge. So that means that there should be a free, a free flow of traffic across the bridge normally, but it's stopped. It can't go anywhere. And when the traffic's backed up right across the bridge, that almost has a double meaning. It's stopped, but also it's all the way back. So it's, um, followed. Nope. <laughs> Stuck all the way back. Does that make sense? I hope my hand movements helped. Um, it's filling a lot of space from wherever the accident or problem is going backwards. There, It's all filled up all of that space and nobody can get through. There we go. I explained it. <laughs> Another one we might hear is the toilet's backed up. We definitely don't want to have that experience, but when your toilet gets blocked, you can say it's backed up. Okay, we'll stop there. Uh, as I said, head to the blog for the extra vocabulary on this one. Uh, any questions, you can leave them in the comments and you can also email me at emmaseslenglish at gmail.com and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.